Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about installing Windows 10 with WDS. I think on the last video, I showed you guys how to import your install and boot image within WDS. So now we are going to install the operating system. Now I'm doing everything within a virtual environment. I'm using VMware Workstation. And within my host machine, I am going to go inside my VM partition. And I'm going to create a new folder and call it VTest, right? Uh, and I'm going to copy the path. I'm going to go inside my VM workstation, go to file, new virtual machine, next, next here. I'm going to pick my flavor, which will be Windows 10 x64. Click on next. The virtual machine name is going to be VTest and the location of where I want to drop it into. Next again, I'm going to leave it the default of 60 gigs, then click on next, finish, good to go. From here, we're going to start our virtual machine. It's going to start loading up. And it's already picked up the WDS, which is good. Boom. Awesome. Hit enter. Once you hit enter, it's going to start loading up the boot WIM file. It's going to start setting up the setup file within the boot image. And there we go. Now, before it starts, you're going to get a dialog box to log into the machine that is uh, broadcasting the image, your WDS. You're going to log in. Once you log in, hit OK. And then you're good to go. Now, th the username and password that you're using has to have access or full rights within that WDS server. Okay. Now, in the last video, we only imported Windows 10 Enterprise. And this is the only option that I have here. I'm going to click on next. Uh, I'm going to click on next here. And it's going to wait for the server. And once everything is completed, it's going to start installing the Windows uh, constantly. It's going to start getting ready. This is the basic stuff that you guys are so used to when installing the operating system. Now, when you're dealing with WDS, it's not automated. It's not like MDT. So that means we have to kind of set up a couple of things. You're going to get this. You need to pick your region. So United States for me, click yes. Uh, the keyboard layout, US, click yes. I'm not going to add an additional keyboard layout, so let's skip it. And the network settings, the license, we need to accept it. Uh, from here, you are able to join uh, using your Microsoft account. I did a domain join instead, which allows me to enter a user account. I did BTNHD, click on next. Provided a password, clicked on next. I entered the password again, clicked on next. And then you are able to create a security question. Once you answer three questions, give your answers. And eventually when you do all those three questions, you're going to get this. Uh, you are able to deny or accept Cortana to be your personal assistant. And once you do that, you get to this. If you want to share information with other devices that have Windows 10 and you're logged into, you could do that. If not, you could hit no or yes. It's up to you. Uh, choose your privacy settings for this particular device. And once you do all that stuff, which is basically the open box experience, and it's going to start setting up and eventually it's going to put you into the desktop. Okay. Uh, it's not like MDT WDS is just straightforward. You actually have to like touch it and configure it with the MDT or SEC and where everything is automated. So you don't really see half of the stuff we just saw right now with WDS. There are ways to configure WS to do unintended, which I'm going to show you guys from here. You're able to click yes or no. I clicked on no. And that's it. That is how we deploy Windows 10 within WDS. If you have any questions or comments, leave them right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.